Hi, I'm Bree from Questacon and I'm here in Bagara to talk to Morgana about a really awesome app that she's created to help heaps of people. Hi Morgana. Hi Bree. Would you like to tell us a little bit about this app? Yeah, so I created Manage Endo. It's a data-driven tool to manage endometriosis. Endometriosis is a disease that affects one in 10 females. Um, more broadly, that's 176 million females worldwide. Endometriosis is when tissue similar to tissue that lines the uterus grows in places outside the uterus. Manage Endo was born out of my own lived experience with endometriosis. So I have stage four endometriosis. There's four stages for being severe. When I left surgery, I was given pain medication and, and said, good luck. And I wasn't gonna accept that. So I turned myself into my own science experiment. And I started looking at like my different lifestyle factors that were actually affecting my endometriosis symptoms. Then when I started speaking to more medical professionals outside those I, who were directly treating me, um, I started to, to get different dietary approaches. And one of them gave me this form to fill in to statistically look at what, what foods were affecting me. And essentially I was going through ticking off boxes and, and looking at you know, how these different foods were affecting me. And what I found was, this is actually a really inefficient way to collect data. How can we do this better? So I digitized that for myself. Manage Endo began as this uh, very hacked together system of spreadsheets. It was a very, very amateur but it allowed me to see what, what, what my data was doing. Um, and from there, I was able to say, actually, let's put this in an app so we can see this all in a more like cohesive dimension. When I decided I was going to build Manage Endo, um, I had zero coding experience. So I thought, I really need to learn, you know, at least the basics of code. Um, so what I did in order to structure my learning journey is I looked at different people who had created similar things to what I wanted to build and I, and I dissected their journey looking backwards. I tried a lot of things initially anchored to my own experience and it became really apparent that solving for just my experience was not the most impactful thing I could do. I really had to get out there and talk to people and see see the, the perspective of endometriosis through other people's lenses because my own was not enough. Um, and when I did that, it really opened my eyes to the potential of what this could do for other women. I think you have to just have the willingness to try. It's so easy to get caught in the space where you're like, oh, should I do this, should I do this? When actually you just say, hey, let's give it a go, see what happens. If we fail, that's okay. Failure means you've learned something, which is incredible. Um, but you have to be willing to try.